someone is arrested, we do not track the information about their immigration status. It is not collected. It is not written down. When someone goes to jail, did you know we do exactly the same? We do not track this information. So when she tells you that illegal immigrants don't commit any crimes and American-born citizens are X, Y, and Z more likely to commit blah, 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 understand that when someone commits a crime in this state, we do not collect that information. So how does she know? Now, to me, it makes sense that your average illegal immigrant beyond being in this country illegally isn't going out of their way to commit crimes because they know that it could come with serious consequences like deportation. I suppose, depending on who's in office at the time. But for her to make the claims unequivocally, she's lying to you. She's absolutely lying to you. And when you are able to suss out the actual information where it's available, it turns out her statement is completely false. They're more likely. Not a ton, not a huge ton, and it depends on on what kind of crimes we're talking about. But understand that, for example... We have a large population of gang members who are illegal immigrants. These are not all or even primarily Amer- the American-born cisgendered white MAGA Republicans. That's not what the data suggests. Overwhelmingly suggests quite the opposite. They're not the white Americans that she wants to pretend are all evil white nationalists because that's the only threat. She's just making this up. She's just making it up. Fox News and GOP talking points would have you believe that most of the fentanyl entering our country is smuggled in through unauthorized border crossings. But in reality, the majority of fentanyl and other illegal drugs enter through official ports of entry, hidden in trucks or cars. And of all the fentanyl seized by border officials, the vast majority, about 90%, was at official ports of entry, and 86% of convicted fentanyl traffickers are U.S. citizens. Oh, U.S. citizens working with the cartels, which, of course, she leaves out, which is ironic because she could go to the subcommittee and learn about that, which is literally the topic. But again, she is acting in bad faith. And again, I have an entire chapter about this in my upcoming book, What's Killing America, a real book in which I was paid to write. Understand that when she tells you the majority of the fentanyl is caught at border crossings, she's basing that on two things that we don't know. One, how many people get across port port of entries with fentanyl who just don't get caught. And two... How many people are going across the border not getting caught with fentanyl? Does she know that number? You can't know that number, can you? Apparently she does. No, but you can't. You can't know that number because if you're not caught, then you don't know someone has fentanyl. What has happened over the course of the last two years? Have we hit historic highs of not just illegal border crossings, but crossings in which we don't have contact with them? Yes. Yes. Is it possible that they might, at a time where our streets are flooded with fentanyl, is it possible that they're bringing some in? Have we seen stories of literal underground tunnels coming from Mexico into mostly Southern California? Have we seen any of those? Yeah, a lot. Oh, but the people who get caught, they're Americans working with the cartels. Working with the cartels. It is (laughs) such lunacy. How this kind of talking boy gets out there, and of course she puts it out in a video because she knows no one can push back. She might as well just go on MSNBC because they're not going to push back there either.